Welcome back. Here we are again. Um, today's Saturday. Yesterday I took this truck down and I had the alignment done, which ended up taking all day for some reason. But anyway, that's all done. Um, I had an oil leak and it was getting the bottom of the pan really wet and up in front, not quite as bad, but um, turned out to be my dipstick tube. My old one here had a, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it had a, right where it crossed over the, the uh, exhaust manifold, had a nasty crack in it. If I, oh, wrong way, there, get it bent like that, had a lovely crack in that thing. And you can see how you know, it went in like that, so you can, see, and that's where it meets the the block, right above the pan, and so it's only like three inches above the where the pan was. Well, if I took off kind of fast, or I imagine turning corners or big bumps or anything, you know, your oil sloshes around in your pan, and it was coming out that crack and getting on my exhaust and under hard acceleration. It was actually smoking and I thought, oh shit, my something's going wrong. But anyway, I happened to have a new one because I'd planned on fixing it. That that bracket had been broken. This bracket right here, I ended up just sawing, just sawing it straight off. But that had been broke for probably 10 years. And so it was just kind of flopping around in there. Well, I had another one. I got it in there and I actually bolted it down to the manifold like you're supposed to so got that fixed so no more leak in the back but now there's a leak in the front which i i suspected and it's right right up there where i uh where the oil pan meets the timing chain cover somewhere right along in here it's leaking so I get to take all that back apart again um, something here actually this side's wet over here and it's not wet on that side well maybe I can tell when I get it apart exactly where it's leaking from it's definitely oil it's got to be coming from around in here somewhere the it doesn't look like it's coming from the seal, but I may replace that as well. Um, so I just got back. <clears throat> I just got back from the auto parts store. Well, it is really humid today. Um, just got back from the auto parts store and got me a whole new. Well, now I've actually got. Actually, I think that's the timing cover, timing cover to block gasket, I believe. That's the pump to the timing, pump to the timing cover gasket, timing cover gasket to block, I believe. And which I've got another one of those, which this is a different brand. I don't, I don't like the way that one feels compared to the Felpro. And then I've got another one too, so I really didn't need all those. Well, and then there's another one in the box I just got. Um, which also comes with another one of these black ones, which is the timing cover. Let's see, timing cover to the block. Yeah, I guess I was wrong. Anyway, this one's the timing cover to the block. It's black one, but there's um, another. The Felpros are blue, and I got a new one of those. I'm suspecting where it is leaking is. I don't want to mess around with this too terribly much, but it is right there. I think. I think where it's probably leaking is where that little bad boy that goes down on the bottom, right, right down along here, except in the pan and. I think that's where it's leaking somewhere along in that or maybe right up here in this corner so I got some uh, RTV to put on that too and I'm going to make sure I 
I use enough of that to uh, seal it up good. I didn't use hardly any before. I just kind of right where this stuff meets, so I, I put a little dab. I'm going to be a little more liberal with it this time. I don't like using that stuff if you don't have to, but it looks like in this case I'm going to have to. But, um, and so, yeah, then I'm going to want to get that done. I have to, I'm going to wash oil down the oil pan again. Um, and then, uh, then do an oil change. So, yeah, I'm not going to be doing what I was wanting to do. Really, this shouldn't take too long because I just got done doing all this stuff. You know, what, a month ago, two months ago, whatever it was. So, basically what I have to do, I need another light here. Um, basically, what I got to do, and I'm, I just don't think I'm probably going to show all this, is um, I need to just get this out of the way. Got to take the shroud and the fan off. The bracket that holds your power steering, well this is the air conditioner, but the air conditioner and power steering pump, they need to just be swung out of the way. There's three bolts that hold that great big bracket on. And you just kind of pick it up and set it off to the side. It, it moves pretty easy actually. Um, I think I can leave the upper radiator hose on. Maybe, or it might just be in the way. I'm not sure. I may just take it off. And remove the heater, heater hoses. Um, Disconnect the the hose down below that hooks on to the water pump. And let all the antifreeze drain out of that and push some through it if I can. I'd, I'm gonna try not to drain the whole radiator out. I think I have enough antifreeze to to uh, do it if I have to. But um, so I gotta take. Yeah, uh, this will come off of the fan. And then down below. That all really shouldn't take very long. And down below, you gotta take take this pulley off and pull the harmonic balancer off. And then you're ready to start getting the water pump and everything off. Um, so it really shouldn't take too long. I mean, it was just all apart. The last time what took so long was, uh, <coughs> there's some oil right there. Yeah, that's oil. Probably just got flung up there, I imagine. There's no oil up. Oh, well, there is oil up in there. Let me think about this. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to see when I get it taken apart exactly where we're leaking from. But um, what took so long before when I did it was darn all these darn water pump bolts down here. It was the original water pump, so they've been on there for 21 freaking years, and I think I had like five of them snap off. And then had to spend time doing that and the water pump was stuck on it was just i spent more time with busted bolts than anything but i put it i put nic's on them and uh i mean they were just out so all that should should come apart pretty good if i get all that done today which i'm hoping to it's it's only quarter after 10. get all that done today um well i may not get it done today I think with that RTV, you're, you're actually supposed to put things kind of together, you know, don't fully torque them down, let it set it, you know, wait, just kind of get things smushing together and then let it set up a little bit and then torque things down. I don't want to do this a third time. So it may not get completely done today, I don't know. Um, but if I get it done today, uh, then hopefully these bad boys can go on. Because I kind of want to get my new wheels and tires on there. Um, got had those mounted on Tuesday. And want to get those on, but... We'll see. Boy, those, those look pretty small compared to, compared to those, don't they? <laughs> that should look pretty good when I get those on. Um, but, yeah. Had to drive the road was a little wet out here yesterday and I got, I got dirt on the side of my truck that's the way it goes so anyway 
I'm gonna get busy and um, I'll probably just bring you in and let you see progress as we go along here. Hopefully within a couple hours, if that long, I'll have this all taken apart and start putting things back together, but you know how things go. So I'll see you, see you after a while. So it took, uh, I don't know, it was two and a half, three hours, something like that, to get this all back apart. A lot faster than when you have snapped off bolts, which ended up taking me like two days, um, if not longer. Um, so I've got everything back apart, and I think what the problem was, yeah, I've got rags shoved down in there, was right here, rags out of here. Um, yeah, over there looks good. Um, right there. You can see it. Hell, you can see the metal core of the of the gasket itself, and there's there's nothing down here underneath it either. And I think it almost had to have been leaking right there. Um, so I'm gonna make sure to goop that up. This one over here. You know, it's got rubber all the way out there, but I'm going to put a dab of RTV right there, too. And I didn't have much in these corners. A little bit right there that's got... Well, in fact, I don't think that's from me. I think that's from uh, when the, when the uh, pan was replaced. But anyway, I'm pretty sure that's where it was leaking from. How the hell I didn't see that before, I, I don't know. Um... I went ahead and I put a new new seal in the cover and there's a spot in the cover that doesn't look very good and I'm not sure what the hell turn it here the right way. I don't have a light here to there's a right there there's a nick out of this cover. Now I don't think that well I don't think that that should affect it. It doesn't go all the way through. It's right here on this side. But I'm going to put a dab of uh, a dab of RTV right in there to fill that up. And I'm going to put this all back together, and uh, I'm going to let it sit. It's the the RTV that I got, which is. What is it, Permatex? Which bag it's in? Yeah, this stuff. Um, actually says on it somewhere. About 24 hours to fully cure before filling with fluids. So I think I will probably get this back together, and then I'm going to wait till tomorrow afternoon to. Um, fill it back up with oil and, and try running it. I might even wait longer than that. I, I really don't want to do that again. I've got this stuff. I'm not sure if it's any different. Uh, it doesn't say. Sealant is fully cured in It's all bent. You can see it. 12 to 24 hours. I think I'll use this stuff. This is high temp anyway. I might use this stuff since it uh, um, cures a little faster. I'm not really sure what the difference is. Both made by Permatex. Got the Mega Black and the ultra black maximum oil resistance well I, I would imagine either one of them is pretty oil resistant so I think I might go ahead and use this stuff since it it seems like it might set up a little bit quicker I don't know um, but I'm pretty sure that's where the leak was coming from so hopefully the problem is uh, going to be solved. I think now might be a good time to replace my um, oil sending unit as well. 
fact, let me do that here shortly. Um, I'm gonna get this back together. I, I took a break after three hours of working on it. One, just because I wanted to. And two, I, I had those rags in there to more or less try to soak up any oil that was on the gasket surface there. But um, anyway, I think that's what the problem was. So just a little bit more cleaning on the gasket there and uh, then start working in reverse order and put the thing back together. This is a lot easier job when you aren't ended up with snapped off bolts. I can tell you that. That was a major pain in the ass. But anyway, that's where I am and I'll, I'll uh, show you when I'm done. Well, I got the motherfucker done. I'm, I'm worn out. Um, actually, it went together harder than it came apart. God, I just couldn't. And I lost a bolt. One of those. Uh, it's one that holds the timing chain cover on. So I had to go to the auto parts store and, and uh, get one. That took time. Oh, excuse me. And, um,. Anyway, it's all buttoned up now, and I, I don't know, I hope it doesn't leak oil now. There's no oil in it right now. I'm going to let it uh, sit probably till about noon tomorrow, or maybe even afterwards, after noon, and make sure all that RTV is set up, um, and hopefully I'm going to be putting these on. So anyway, wasn't a whole lot to see there, but um, did the timing cover again, water pump. All that bullshit. That's, I don't know if I want to do that again if it's leaking. I might take it and have somebody else do it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Um, we'll get to more exciting stuff here shortly. Bye-bye.